Now, the voter turnout in Muguga Ward has been fairly high, uh, standing at about 35%. That was at around 3 p.m. today. The voting process was peaceful, except for cases of complaints by the UDA candidate Peter Thumbi, citing interference by government administration officials to help his opponent, Joseph Githinji of Jubilee. Elfa Slagat joins me live now from the tallying center with more details. Elfas. Yvonne, it's now all about the count which is being conducted by the returning officer, Evanson Gedenji. And just behind me, Yvonne, uh, there is the, 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 the beaming of the results. As you can see right now, uh, the reporting is at 10 of the 29 uh, polling stations. And at the moment, we see that UDA candidate Peter Dumbi Kamau is at 1,421, which represents 56 percent of the votes cast and followed closely by Joseph Mungara uh, Gidinji, who is a Jubilee candidate, uh, 1,884 are the votes that have been cast so far in his uh, favor. That is translates to 43%. Uh, Mumbi Moses uh, Gishau of uh, Thadwe Alliance has 30 votes right now. That represents, uh, translates to 1%. And Mugo Peter Njoroge is now at 7 votes as per the figures that we are getting from the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. And the rejected votes so far are at 19, Yvonne, and the votes that have been cast stands at 8, 2,832. It's important, Yvonne, to note that uh, uh, Muguka has uh, uh, 18,387 uh, voters who've been registered. Uh, we documented uh, the happenings of the day since 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. when the voting uh, ended uh, to pave way for the counting. And right now we are here just following the, the uh, resources. They trickle in from the different polling stations, from the 29 polling stations, Yvonne. And uh, the, the report that we did is here. Take a listen. It was a busy day that started at 6 a.m. with voting kicking off in all the 29 polling stations in Muguga Ward. Voters were required to wash their hands, then proceeded to have their body temperature checked before their registration details were confirmed by the IEBC before casting their votes. As the day progressed, residents went to polling stations to cast their votes. UDA candidate Peter Dumbi accusing his jubilee opponent Joseph Gedinji of working with chiefs to influence voters' decision contrary to the law. Their work got finished when the campaigns got over. In fact, the chief is supposed to be not to, uh, to be neutral. But now when on the line, when somebody is queuing and the chief is trying to convince somebody to vote for this or the other, I don't think that's the chief's work. Gidinji, who voted at Kahuo Uhuru polling station, however dismissed talk of interference with a voting exercise saying the race for Muguga is based on candidates' agenda for the residents. Chiefs wako kazi, wako kazi ni mwao ya kuweka sheria na huduma ya bayo ni kazi yao kuhudumia zizi zote. Kwa hifo, there is no way you can separate the government from the wananchi. They are here to keep peace and order for all of us. The voters, on the other hand, are keen on a new MCA will further address the present-day challenges facing small businesses, access to markets, and infrastructure in the world. Tunataka awe na angaria mambo ya mbasali, watoto wale mayatima, atutengeneze mbalabala, kutafutia vijana kazi. Turko na masinda nyingi, hakuna security, parabara hakuna, hata mata nyingi hakuna. Ivanson Gidinji, the returning officer, positive that the turnout was above average, considering that this is a by-election. Uh, At 15 hours, 6,558 voters have already voted. That is 35 percent, which to us is a very good turnout. We I appreciate the people of Mwoga for coming out to exercise their democratic right. We expect to hit maybe 50% plus by the closure. Moguga Ward in Kabete constituency has 18,367 registered voters. The MCA seat fell vacant after the death of then Ward Representative Elliot Ngugi on March 16th this year.